Hey everyone, today I'm talking about core values. Today's core value is fractal growth. This is one of my personal favorite uh, of our core values. And if you don't know what a fractal is, well, I highly recommend that you go online and research a little bit about fractals. Simply put, it is a, a math formula that is a self-similar uh, uh, pattern that's repeating. And as you zoom out of that pattern or you zoom into that pattern, it's very self-similar to what you saw initially. Um, it is the, really the math of life. It is, it is organic structure. This is how all, or not all, but vast majority of living structures are organized is using fractal patterns. And I'm going to show you in the next slide here some examples of what uh, nature looks like, fractal math looks like in nature. So you're going to see plants that have this formula here. Uh, you're going to see uh, the way that uh, sunflowers uh, organize their seeds. These are all following very complex, sorry, very simple mathematical formulas that are fractal patterns. Even the ways that rivers form and, and flow follows a very similar fractal pattern. This looks very similar to what the brain looks like, the, the, the path, neuro, neuron pathways. This is what your circulatory system looks like. This is really a very uh, standard formula for how nature evolves. So what is fractals? Fractals is the math of life. It's organic math. So is any good growth, sorry, is any growth good? And so we have fractal growth as uh, one of our core values. The reason being is that we are looking for healthy organic growth that allows us to have sustainable abundance in, in what we're trying to create. Is any growth good? No. Well, the answer to that, of course, is cancer. Cancer is not good growth. Cancer is growth for any sake whatsoever. If you look closely at cancer cells compared to normal healthy cells, whether it's in the human body or some other plant or animal, you're going to see that the, those cancer cells clearly are not part of uh, a continuous whole. They are, they are a separate foreign entity that is developing, growing within the host. And cancer will continue to consume all resources at the expense of everything around it and will eventually kill the, the entity around it and the host that's supporting that to cancer because it has no care or concern. And unfortunately, many people live their lives in their communities as a cancer, taking and taking and taking without building sustainable abundance. And unfortunately, many companies have built their business model around being cancer in the world, taking resources, taking wealth without any concern for a long-term sustainability of the communities that they're part of. So for us, it's fundamentally important that we build a system and a company and a culture that is focused on healthy organic growth, which we call fractal growth. Now, how can you be organic in your own business? Well, that's simple. First things first, fractal is math. So what you know about math is that it's formulaic and systematic. So you need to have a formulaic, systematic business approach to your business. You can't be knee-jerk and grab bag and just doing random things at all time. That's very cancer focused. You need to instead have a very formulaic, ordered approach to your business. That's the first thing. The second thing is that you need to ensure that, uh, and this is part of what we've done in our company, is that every level of promotion in our company, from a brand new agent all the way up to a senior partner who's running a brokerage, uh, all the way through those ranks, they have very, very similar sets of responsibilities, tasks, and steps that allow them to grow organically with their own uh, achievements and experiences. And so a fractal business plan would have one that allows you to organically grow, to expand, to scale without uh, having all the, the rough edges and, and the, I guess, the, the scraped knees you get along the way. Of course, as you're growing, you're going you're to have those things, but the whole point of Fractal is that you have a business plan that is uh, organic and smooth and flows from the very beginning to the very end. That's a key part of having organic business in mind. Another thing to think about is uh, Fractal is cooperation. If you look at cells in your body, you know, what's more important? Is the liver more important than the kidney? Is, is the skin better than the blood? You know, is the brain you know, more important than the heart? At the end of the day, these are all different types of cells that have all come together to cooperate to create the, uh, the organism that is you. And just like every other plant and, and complex cell out there, these are, are entities that have all come together to create uh, an organism, a fractal organization that is yourself. So you need to do the same thing in your business. You can't treat people as if they're used, uh, usable, they're disposable. You need to look at every relationship you're creating as an opportunity to build cooperation in your, in your larger community. The more people that you have supporting you, the more people that you have giving you a thumbs up and spreading your good name, the more opportunity you're gonna have come your way. So the whole point of building a fractal business is one, be systematic, be formulaic, and two, be aware that you are part of a larger community and that's your role to seek out cooperation with your competitors, with 
uh, other businesses and service providers, and of course with your friends and family and past clients who can assist you in helping you maximize your profits so that you can have the sustainable abundance you're looking for for you and your family.